Hello friends, I am Dr. Sutar Renji from Sanjeevani College of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Department of Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry. So friends, today we see analysis of the crude drug by chemical test, a concept that is a by virtual practical lab. So friends, in this one, we see the first one drug that is a acacia. <clears throat> the synonym of this one drug is there, that is a Indian gum is there, acacia. Uh, this acacia is nothing but is a dried gummy exudation, which is to be obtained by making incision on the stem part and the branches of acacia arabica will that belonging to the family leguminosae. So whenever we are going to make an incision on the stem part of the acacia arabica plant, uh, which is having a leguminosae family, a gummy exudation is there is to be oozes out just like that one. Uh, when that gummy exudation is dried uh, and that is we stick to that one particular stem part, in there we call it as a gum. Just these are the tears are there that is to be observed, which is to be after drying that is to be isolated. These are the tears that is a, your acacia. We call it as a Indian gum also, which is we use for making the ladus. Ladus in most in case of the winter season, that drug is there is to be utilized. Okay as a binding agent. <clears throat> so friends, let's see how the analysis by chemical test is performed. So for acacia, we have to collect the acacia, authenticated acacia gum uh, there should be collected, which is authenticated from the botanist department of botany is there. Then where the aqueous solution of this one drug is prepared, that aqueous solution is there, is to be treated by utilizing a lead subacetate solution. Okay, when the lead subacetate solution is there, it should be added into the aqueous solution of the acacia. We are getting a gelatinized solution. Gelatin-like structure is there, it should be formed. Somewhat uh, viscous solution is there, it should be formed and having a turbidity that indicate presence of acacia. The second one is there when you are going to aqueous solution is there is to be treated. Aqueous solution of acacia is to be treated by utilizing a ruthenium red solution. No change in the color is there is to be observed. The no change color that indicate that acacia is present. So friends, uh, the taste is there is somewhat different uh, in case of the tragacan where the, you are getting that one particular pink color, ruthenium red color, okay? Third one test is there, just take aqueous solution of acacia to that one, you are going to add hydrogen peroxide solution and benzidine in alcohol, just 0.5 ml benzidine in alcohol is there, it should be added. Uh, you are getting uh, blue color. This blue color is because of the oxidase enzyme, where oxidation reaction is there, should be carried out because of that one, the blue color formation is there, is occur. Okay, so next one test is there, fourth one, aqueous solution of the acacia is to be taken to that one, dilute hydrochloric acid solution is there, is added. And to that one, the filling solution A and B is added. Uh, hit that one particular mixture, after hitting, you're getting a red color precipitate that indicate that acacia is present. These are the four tests are there for the acacia. Now the next one test is there acacia, aqueous solution of the acacia is prepared to that one borax is there is added. A small quantity of the borax is there is to be added into the aqueous solution of the acacia. No translucent mass is formed that indicate that acacia is present. Some other parts, the translucent mass is formed, but in case of, along with acacia, with borax, no translucent mass is formed. When the aqueous solution is to be treated by utilizing the iodine, uh, there is a no blue color formation is there because in acacia, starch grains are absent. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, only starch is only responsible to give the blue color with the iodine solution. So here the starch grains are absent. So this is the identity test is there. Next one test, aqueous solution uh, to that one. Uh, we are going to add ferric chloride in the aqueous solution of the acacia. No bluish black color is formed. 
that indicate that acacia is present. Second one drug is their tachycon. The it is also known as a gum. Is their tach gum tachycon is there, uh, which is to be used for the same one recipe. Is there which is to be used in the different type of the pharmaceutical preparations are there, such as your microbiological preparations are there to increase the viscosity as viscosity in another the drug is there which we utilize. Okay, <clears throat> so prepare the aqueous solution of the Tragacan to that one, you are going to add 10% of the ferric chloride solution. Uh, yellow color precipitate is there is to be formed. What is that is? In aqueous solution of the tragacan, when 10% ferric chloride solution is added, uh, yellow color precipitate is formed. Hope all of you understand. The second one test is there, aqueous solution of uh, tragacan is there to that one. You are going to add filling solution A and B. Hit that one particular mixture. The reddish brown color precipitate is there is to be formed. This is the second one taste is there. Okay. Uh, third one taste is there to the aqueous solution uh, of tragacan. Lead acetate is there is to be added. White color precipitates are there that is to be formed. In the taste, I show you that one white color precipitate. The next one test is there. Fourth one test, aqueous solution is to be taken to that one aqueous solution of tagacan. Five percent caustic potash is added. A canary yellow color is formed. Here you have to be observed that the canary yellow color is there, is to be formed on the upper side of this one. Is there okay? Here canary yellow color is there, is to be formed. Uh, that indicate that tagacan is present. Okay. Now the next one drug is there, that is a agar. The synonym of this one drug is there, agar, agar is there, Japanese agar is there, Japanese is in glass is there. These are the various synonym of this one drug is there. Whenever the aqueous solution of the agar is prepared to that one, you are going to add hydrochloric acid. Uh, white turbidity is there, is to be formed. Second one, aqueous solution to that one, ruthenium red is there, is to be added. There is a pink coloration is formed. Friends, I told you that in case of the acacia, the taste is negative. In case of the tragacan, as well as in case of the aga, the taste is there is to be positive. When the aqueous solution uh, is to be treated with ruthenium braid, it gives pink color formation. The next one taste is there. Somewhere the taste is there is to be asked, give the a single taste which differentiate the agar and the acacia, tragacan, acacia, or acacia, agar, and tragacan. <coughs> so this is the one taste is there. So when the aqueous solution um, is to be treated by utilizing a ruthenium braid, the agar, if the agar is there, there is a pink color is formed. Tagacan is there, pink color form, whereas in case of the acacia, no pink color formation is there. Then aqueous solution plus, uh, which is to be treated by utilizing the filling solution A and filling solution B, and heat that one particular mixture, red color precipitate is there, is to be formed. This is the next one test is there for this one agar. The next test is there, aqueous solution, is to be treated by utilizing the dilute iodine solution. Uh, crimson to brownish color is formed because the star grains are there that is to be absent. So no color is formed, but the because of the, some of the other chemical components, crimson to brown color is there is to be formed in case of the agar. Okay, so all the chemical tastes which are to be mentioned in gelatin are not positive for gelatin what the taste is there they are to be positive for gelatin but for agar they are negative one now the next one is there that is the gelatin uh, dear friends when uh, we are going to treat the gelatin uh, which is to be obtained from the bone bones uh, or bone meal either which is to be utilized for the preparation of the soft gelatin capsule hard gelatin capsule depends on the uh, material which is to be present the gelatin is there should be utilized for the preparation of this one adhesive tapes also okay so the gelatin is there a gelatin solution prepared into that one soda lime is there should be added 
uh, when it is treated, there is a whitish color uh, solution is formed, which causes the release of ammonia solution. When in an aqueous solution of the gelatin, you are going to add soda lime, there is a ammonia gas is there, it should be removed or evolved. <coughs> that indicate that <coughs> gelatin is present. Then uh, next one is their aqueous solution uh, in gelatin to that one millions reagent is added. In that one particular mixture, you are getting a white color precipitate. Millions reagent treated with the aqueous solution of the gelatin, white color precipitate is obtained. Next one test is their aqueous solution of the gelatin to that one alcoholic picric acid is added. Yellow color precipitate is there is to be formed. These are the simple tests are there that is for the gelatin. So friends, the next one is there that is uh, starch. <coughs> Sorry, there are the various sources of the starch. Starch is there should be obtained from the potato, maize, wheat, rice. These are the four major sources are there from which the starch is there is to be obtained. So first test is there just you have to prepare the aqueous solution of the starch. To that one, you are going to add dilute iodine solution. You are getting a bluish color. That color is there, which depends on the concentration of amylose to amylose pectin. <clears throat> the color intensity or the blue color to the purple color is there. Depends on the concentration of the amylose to amylose pectin. The color is very from blue color to the purple color. Okay. So, friends, second one taste is there. Uh, that is the just uh, take aqueous solution of the starch to that one you are going to add 0.5 ml of the water or 5 ml of the water heat that one particular mixture uh, mucilage is there is to be formed we can say that the starch mucilage that starch mucilage is there is to be used for the further taste okay so the starch mucilage which is treated by utilizing the filling solution a and filling solution b Heat that one particular mixture. Once you are to be heated, that gives no color reaction by utilizing the filling solution A and filling solution B. Whereas in case of the previous one, you are observed that the reddish brown color precipitate is there is to be formed. But here is not like that. There is a no red coloration is formed. Okay. Next one taste is there. <clears throat> Just take the starch mucilage to that one. You are going to add 0.5 ml of the hydrochloric acid. Is there it should be added? Heat that one particular mixture. A white turbidity is formed. When this to this one turbidity, sodium hydroxide solution is added. There is a red coloration is formed. That is a positive taste is there because reduction takes place in case of this one. This is the taste there. Next one drug is there that is a castor oil. Uh, castor seeds are there that are to be utilized uh, for this one preparation of this one. Whereas the oil is there, it should be prepared by the compression method and further purification that gives you the castor oil. Okay, so <clears throat> for the identification of the castor oil, just take the Castor oil to that one, you are going to add equal volume of the petroleum ether that is to be easily miscible, completely miscible with the castor oil. Second one taste is there, castor oil is to be taken with the equal volume of the alcohol. Then clear liquid is formed at zero degrees centigrade. As such, at no room temperature, both are to be separated from each other. Uh, that is not to be mixed up. Uh, firstly, but when you have to be freeze that one that get easily mixed up with each other, a clear liquid is there should form at zero degrees centigrade. Friends, castor oil is to be treated with acidified petroleum ether. If there is to be added to that one, ammonium molybdate solution is there is to be added, which gives you white turbidity that indicate that the castor oil is there is present. Last one drug is there that is a honey. Uh, that honey there should be obtained from the flowers collected by the honey bees, Apis malipera, uh, uh, belonging to the bovidae family is there. Uh, so for this one, honey 
uh, filling solution A and filling solution B, if there is to be added, hit that one particular mixture, you are getting a red color precipitate. So friends, in this way, your identification of the drug by chemical taste is completed. Friend, if you are new to this one channel, please subscribe my channel and use likes to my videos. Thank you.